everyone and today we're going to talk about uh, Venus in Gemini, Neptune in Pisces and how they're square and what it all means to you. Uh, welcome to Astrology for Healing. Please uh, let me know who you are and where you are from. I appreciate that. If you like more of the videos, uh, you could subscribe to my Holistic Healing Astrology page on YouTube and uh, get the bell notification so you could always find out when I'm posting new videos. So I thank you again for your time. I hope you're all doing well. I thank you for all your feedback. It's uh, a pleasure to do all this for you and to uh, educate you as much as I can. So let's look at the planet Venus. Venus is uh, in Gemini right now. So that Venus is the planet of, um, <clears throat> I'm going to look at my cheat sheet here to make sure that I'm giving you um, all the possible scenarios here. But Venus is what you love, uh, material things, food, it represents money, it represents um, things that, uh, that you work for, possessions, and um, also it has to do with harmony, worth, value. Um, so what you are attracted to in relationships there's a lot of meanings here. It also means uh, peace and who or what you attract uh, or attracted to. Your attitude towards money. It also has to do with uh, art, artwork, uh, temptation, connection, uh, good taste, luxury. So um, it's in the sign of Gemini. So Gemini is an air sign and it's a mutable sign. So what that means is that it has to do with thinking. It has to do with quickness. Um, it also has to do with um, of the mind. Okay. Anything that's an air sign is of the mind. So, um, so Venus is the love of the mind, information the media. Um, so we might be overindulging on uh, those uh, those things right now with the virus going around and the pandemic and we're locked in. So what do we have to do except research? You know, that's part of Gemini as well. So, and it's square Neptune in Pisces. So Neptune is the planet that is at home in the sign of Pisces. So the energies are almost the same because the ruler and the ruling planet and the sign have the same kind of energy. Excuse me. So Neptune is all about uh, the compassion, illusions, uh, sensitivity, confusion. It uh, has to do with fantasy, gentleness, deception, illusion. I probably said that before. And there's no boundaries, no form, no shape. I always think of a gas, you know. Um, so it's something that you can't see it, but you can feel it. Um, love is that emotion, those emotions. That's something that has no shape, no form, but you could feel it. Um, your dreams. It's also a lack of direction. So in chaos and uh, clouds and escapism, um, it also has to do with the ocean, the sea, uh, because you can't control it. It has, you know, it takes on the shape. The wave is always changing, always changing, never the same. So uh, Pisces has to do with uh, very similar energies and um it's the artist, the charitable person, the creative one, uh, the dedicated person, the dreamer, the humble one, the spiritual person. They never look at money. They're like, ah, oh, everything will be just fine. Let's just, you know, have a drink or let's just do some drugs. 
And even now, you know, with Neptune and Pisces, there's been an increase of people um, taking some medication for anti-anxiety uh, with this pandemic, which is a whole nother topic of discussion. So uh, Pisces also has to do with our feet and, um, and how we move. It's like we're walking on water. I always like to think of that as well. It's mystical. It's peaceful, um, introverted. So that's the kind of energy. So we have that energy now in relationship with the Gemini Venus energy, but it's square. So what does the square mean? The square is there's challenges. There's challenges between what we love and what we're hearing and all this media and all this information with our spirituality. Like this is not a dream. It's a nightmare now. It's, it doesn't seem real. It's very unreal. And um, there are difficulties. A lot of people are uh, facing many difficulties. So it's also disagreements, um, power struggles, uh, dis destructuring, no structure and restructure. So all that is going on right now. And if you want to see how that affects your personal uh, sign and, and horoscope, again, you go on your wheel and you look to see where Gemini is and where Pisces is. And you could see how, which house, the first, second, third, or fourth house. And that will tell you where the emphasis is in that area of your life. So uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions. I don't see any comments right now, but we will later. And I love hearing from you. So that is what is going on right now with uh, Venus in the uh, Gemini and also Neptune in Pisces. Now around the 12th of the month, Venus is going to go retrograde. And what that means is it's going to go, it's now gone into Gemini, but now it's going to go backwards, back over the territory that it went over. And it's going to do that from mid-May all the way till I believe it's June. But I'll talk about that later on on another report so we have a lot going on and i do want to go over the uh, moon in aries square uh uranus in taurus that will be the next video and please share this if you find any value in this uh i've already got a few people interested in um, starting an astrology circle class, and that will be coming up in the near future. It will not be online. Uh, we're going to have it somewhere locally in Virginia Beach. Uh, we'd love to have you join. It's um, going to be a teaching uh, situation where you can move from understanding your own horoscope, and then we'll get deeper and deeper and deeper into the study of astrology. So I thank you so much. My name is Ev and please check out my YouTube channel, Holistic Healing Astrology. Uh, share these videos and uh, keep those questions coming. I really enjoy connecting with you on the internet. It, uh, it beats not seeing everyone and talking to them um, uh, live because I miss everybody but I will talk to you soon. All this will pass.